Hello and welcome. This is Vinny from Arctropics Games. This is part 2 of Godot 4 tile maps and lighting tutorial. The link to part 1 of this tutorial is available in the description. I would recommend you watch part 1 first and then continue with this tutorial. In the previous video, I created tiles and collisions. In this video, we will talk about making the game scene to look from this to this by using lighting. Let's start with adding a directional light 2D node to my root node. And as expected, the whole scene becomes much brighter. I can change the color of the directional light, change its brightness level, and as you can see, just changing the color changes the feel of the scene a little. But how to make it more interesting? We need to make sure that the tiles the player can interact with are a little more prominent than the background. But before we actually make the scene look interesting, I want to show you the concepts of canvas modulate and light occlusion. Let's add a new node called canvas modulate to the root node. I'm going to turn off the directional light for a moment. And in the canvas modulate node, we can modify the brightness and tint of the scene. When I turn on the directional light, we can make the scene brighten up again. But this doesn't really help much. Now let us add a light occluder 2D node to the root. With the light occluder 2D node selected, I will start drawing a polygon shape. Now I will select the directional light 2D node and I will go to the inspector and under the shadows section, I will turn the shadows on. Now the light occluder polygon is casting a shadow. We can change the rotation of the directional light to change the direction of the incoming light. Changing the position of the directional light does not really do anything. You can also change the shadow filter to PCF13 and then change the softness of the shadows. Let us now run the game to see how it looks. You will notice that the shadows affect the lighting on everything, including the character. But none of our tiles are casting any shadow. How do we achieve that? We will now apply the concept of modulation and occlusion to the tile map. I will delete the light occluded 2D node and select the tile map node again. In the inspector, I will click on the tile set and it will show the options of the tile set. In the rendering section, I can add occlusion layers, just like how we added the physics layers. I will add one layer and let the light mask be on layer one. Again, you can have multiple layers with different light masks. In the tile set tab, when I select a tile under the rendering section in the select mode, there is an occlusion layers section. Just how we created the collision polygons, we can now create occlusion polygons. I will quickly create the shapes. And now you can see that all the tiles that have occlusion shape are casting a shadow. Remember that in my layer, I am using layer mask as layer one, and the directional light is also on layer one. So they will cast shadows for all lights on layer one. I will readjust the canvas modulate settings to make the scene a little more brighter and give it a bit bluish tint. Let's run the scene and see how it looks. Good enough. But I still feel that the floors and the walls are not really standing out from the background. To fix this, I can go to the tiles and select the background tiles and adjust the modulate property while in the select mode.
Now the contrast between the foreground and background is much more prominent. You can play around with the lighting color and intensity, modulation, shadow settings and get the effect you want. I will quickly also show you a few more things. I will add a point light 2D node to the scene and drag my light mask image to the texture section of the node. I will quickly give it a color and intensity and turn on the shadows. Now when you move the light around, you can see how it creates shadows around the tiles. You can play around with this effect, like a player holding a candle or flashlight. You can also add a light occlusion polygon shape to the player to have the player cast a shadow. The next thing I want to quickly talk about is that you can have multiple tile images within the same tile map node. I'm adding another image in the tile set by dragging it from the resources folder. You will see that no tiles were created. This is because my image is way smaller than 64 by 64 and previously I had set up my tile size to 64 by 64. This particular image is 19 by 14 pixels in size. I will adjust the tile size and the tile will be created instantly. You will notice that this tile is only 19 by 14 pixels while the tile map is set for 64 by 64. So when I place this tile, it will place this image in the center of the 64 by 64 area. This is not exactly what I want. I want to place the skull tile next to the floors. I can adjust the texture origin values which you can find under the rendering section. And now I can place the skull texture aligned with the floor. In my case, I just changed the Y value to minus 27 and it worked. Also, always remember that you have selected the right layer before you start placing your tiles. This is pretty much all I wanted to share in this video. Just play around with the settings and create a nice looking scene for your project. So that's it. If you liked this video, please click the like button. It will help us a lot. Also, subscribe to our channel for upcoming content. Thank you for watching.